was the last time, Neil deGrasse Tyson, you had a fight? I'm just curious. Oh, actually, th thanks for an interesting question. I'm no, no one's asking me that. So, unlike everyone, I, I grew up in the Bronx. <laughs> okay. Which means what? You fight? <laughs> Bronx still, in the house, is, apparently. Isn't that where Jennifer people. Lopez is from? I'm still Jenny from the Bronx. Yeah, there's a few folks from the Bronx, uh -huh. okay? Yeah. And you say, the Bronx, okay? okay. Um, and I just barely made it here tonight because, like, in the Bronx, I'm a Yankee fan, and they're playing, like, right now. Oh, okay? yeah, so yeah, So I'm just yeah, saying, right. Yeah. That's okay, it's the first game out of a series, so we good. Yeah. I won't rush out of here. Uh -huh. uh, so, um, in the Bronx, uh, oh, so everyone I grew up with got into multiple fights throughout their school years with some bully, whatever. These were the days when it didn't occur to anyone to report bullies to the principal. Mm. It just didn't occur to you. You just kind of had to deal, deal with, with it. Deal with it, yes. Just, and by the way, it is the central plot line to many a movie. I mean, there is no Back to the Future movie without a bully. The bully is the why, how and why things yeah. happen in that movie. So in another era, you know, what did my father tell me? He said, anyone bullies you, you punch him in the face. You don't report him to the principal. It's another era. You, you handle it, yes. Rid of that. Yeah. No, 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 my point is, I was bigger than most other kids in my grade. I was also, in high school, captain and undefeated on my wrestling team. I also studied martial arts. So I was a geek who could actually kick your ass, okay? <laughs> so, but, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm not bragging or You're anything. You're not bragging, just, you're just stating facts. It's just, it's just the facts. Just okay. facts, okay. So I don't, I'm just saying, okay? <laughs> so, so, yeah, I could totally kick your ass. Um, <laughs> but, I never got into a fight in my entire life. And uh, there was one I time. I think that's good though. Oh no, I agree. There was one time a, a bully pulled a knife on me. Uh -huh. Now, I, I was responsible because this was one of these March snowfalls where the snow is thick and heavy and it's very snowbally. And so during lunch hour in high school, a big snowball fight broke out. And this guy had a leather jacket. He was, back then we'd call them greasers. And he was a non-combatant, but happened to be on the side where we were throwing snowballs. A non-combatant. Okay, and he was leaning against a car, it might have been his car, because they all, did mature things that I, I had cars and stuff, but or motorcycles. So he's leaning against the car, and his girlfriend is on his arm, and I threw a snowball, and it arced and hit him right here, right. Yeah. And his girlfriend saw that. Yeah. Okay. And so he got very angry. This is not in the book, by the way, but it's you should just so you know <laughs> what what I've been through. So <laughs> so he. <laughs> he got, he was clearly embarrassed. He wasn't hurt. But he was embarrassed. His girlfriend is right here and he's got a leather jacket. So he's, so out came all the evidence. Nigga this, you will come back through there. I see you in school, I'm gonna cut you, don't you? Blah, 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 blah. And he just on and on and on. And so at the end of the snowball fight, because the period ended, I, I start migrating towards one of the doors, and he's on an intersection course. Migrating towards, did you guys catch that? <laughs> My, I would say I walked over the door. <laughs> okay. I started migrating to one That's of the doors. That's a perfectly good word. I didn't say it wasn't a good okay. word. Okay, so migrating towards, it, <laughs> and I said, oh, he's gonna intersect me, let me go to a different door. So then he has to walk a little faster to do that. And then he intersects me. And I think, I don't think he realized from afar that I'm about an inch taller oh, than he is. Uh -huh. Okay, so he had to look up to me. And he's in, in bike, biker boots. So he pulls out and a double- And his girlfriend is watching. I, I don't remember the girlfriend, because I just paid attention to the knife, uh -huh. okay? Uh -huh. There might have been, his girlfriend might have been there that was not, a, was not thinking. So he pulled out a 007, look it up. It's about a six inch blade, it's a locking blade. And this was a scene like right out of the, knife fight in West Side Story. You know, the knife twists like this and you can see the reflection of the sunlight. And he says, uh, you, you hit my jacket with a snowball, okay, or something. He stated yes. the facts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I said to myself, he's got a knife. Um, I could probably disarm him before he has a chance. Though. I have very uh -huh. fast reflexes too. Mm -hmm. I don't mean, I'm just saying. It's just what that is. 
It's the Bronx, you gotta, okay? So, so I could do that and, and incapacitate him, but then that would just embarrass him more. And maybe he'd be waiting behind a corner, or behind a tree yeah, for me. Yeah, to get you later, yeah. Plus, maybe I don't succeed and he stabs me, maiming me or possibly killing me. At that time, I was already accepted to the college of my choice. Oh. So I said to myself. Can I ask what the college of your choice was? At the, t um, at the time? I went to Harvard. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, thank okay. <laughs> I knew that, I just no, wanted to see if you'd say it. <laughs> I just wanted to see if you would say it. Okay, go ahead. So, so I, this story's almost over, sorry. Okay. So, so <laughs> what felt like 10 minutes of thought probably was only 10 seconds. I said, I, I could fight him, I'd probably win, but he'd have revenge on me for the rest of our school year. I could, um, I, I, I might get stabbed, I could die, I think that's low likelihood. I don't fear him plus his knife, but I have way more to lose mm -hmm. than he has to gain. Yes. So I said, so I'm going through this in rapid motion, I said, I'm sorry, mm. I hit your jacket. Uh, it was a mistake and it won't happen again. Wow. I didn't say it timidly, but I said it honestly. I was, and, not, and at that I point, was not expecting that. And, and at that point, there's nothing he can, can do. do. Yes. And, he's, and he said, okay, and then he folded up the knife. <laughs> and then thenceforth, we like waved to each other wow. in the corridor. Yeah. Right, and so and and what was what is that was message? my first What's experience with detente, right, oh, or whatever okay. the politicians call it, yes. you know? Yes. And so, if you let your ego get in the way, there's bloodshed, particularly testosterone and all of this. Yeah. My point is, maybe if I didn't wrestle, that would have to come out some other way. But I would leave all my testosterone on the mat. Yeah. And so I had my if I had if if being a guy means you have to fight, I did fight in the on the wrestling mat.